How is this possible? If you've seen this video, there's a whole foreshore of mansions untouched, but the whole rest of the town completely disintegrated. Check now this video this out. And by the end of it, I guarantee you are going to see how dirty this, this system is, okay? You're going to see how a war is actually being waged on a certain group of people um, when it comes to, uh, you know, being an Amer American citizen. All right. So let's look at this. Let's check this out. I, was, I wasn't going to post about this. How is this possible? If you've seen this video, there's a whole foreshore of mansions untouched, but the whole rest of the town completely disintegrated. Now look at these houses. That doesn't happen from a bushfire. That doesn't happen from, from a natural disaster. So you've all seen what's going on. You know that they've knowingly, the elites have knowingly set Maui on fire to, to, to build their smart city. This is what they've been talking about. If something doesn't come from this, if the people don't get together after this, this is murder. This is this is tyranny. This is crimes against humanity. They've killed people. They've taken people's livelihoods knowingly, and people know that. If if nothing comes from this, and people don't come together and fucking win and riot and and overcome these fucking putrid scumbag elites, I'm done. We if if nothing comes from this. We're the softest society to ever live on the face of the earth, and we deserve everything we get. Stand the fuck up and let's fight. Cause you see what I'm saying? I agree with him 100%. Okay, I wouldn't say you know we have to do something, bro. We have to. My my main my main thing would be you know always leaving the monetary system alone. We see right now they're trying they're not trying you know to help them in terms of even giving them the finances that they need to even begin to move. <clears throat> Which we know that's something that they want they they want them to do to begin with. They want them to move off their land, okay, so that they can have their way. So they're going to offer them a few dollars, so on and so forth, because they're saying it's going to take billions already to re you know construct the whole area, all right. But yeah, you know we have to do something about this. This is a plane, as you can see from the split between land, and it's only split by one strip, which is a boulevard, which is going to get us into this next video that I'm about to get ready to show. But as you can see, you know, right there where that strip divides the wealthy from the common people is where the fire stopped. It went no further. I, I mean, it didn't touch a hair further than that area, man. So with that being said, I feel like it's important for us to know the etymology of words and to understand that everything that they do use is being used for a reason, right? Even... The words that you see on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? So let's check out what the word boulevard means. And, uh, you know, how does God going to break that down for us? Let's check this out. Yo, somebody's been lying. We're about to get to the bottom of it. Hey, false alarm, man. The mansions are good. Nah, there's something more to it. What's those mob deep lyrics? There's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. You could run, but you can't hide forever. <laughs> you can't hide. Listen, we're coming for you. All right? Words are spells and curses. And the word of the day is boulevard. All right? 1769, Broad Street, a promenade planted with rows of trees from French Boulevard. Originally, top surface of a military rampart. This is where it gets good. All right? 15th century, from a garbled attempt to adopt Middle Dutch bulwark, wall of a fortification. See, boulevard. All right? None of the words they use. So what he's saying is that the word boulevard means a wall of fortification. It's a fort, okay? So before we even get further on into this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and break it down what is gonna be what he's basically trying to say. It's a boulevard that sets that separates, as I just said, the common folks from the wealthy folks, okay? And so what that boulevard serves as is a barrier okay and so that's what it did it stopped it was a barrier it stopped right there because that that barrier stopped that fire okay and not in the physical sense but you you know what i mean it stopped right there because there's a barrier between us you see what i'm saying it's a barrier between the common people and the rich people and they, it was just shown 
because not one of their houses got harmed. Have no meaning, right? And it's always deeper than what you think. We're gonna go see Bulwark to see what that means because we're breaking us all down, all right? I need y'all to stay focused and pay attention, all right? I need y'all to follow me and open your eyes, all right? Bulwark, early 15th century, a fortification outside a city wall, all right? The bull is a tree, the work is the work. Thus, Bulwark, a construction of logs, figurative sense means of defense or security, all right? Listen, we all know how to build, all right? The notion is of a promenade atop demolished city walls. Come on, man. Stay with me. There is no such thing as a coincidence, all right? And there are things at play beyond what you see on the surface. Hey, look, let me tell you something, man. I will say this, man, that, you know, y'all better start waking up. Y'all better start waking up, bro, because, you know, right now it is a real war that's taking place on us. And you can see with what was being, you know, what, what is being done, bro. Obviously, they don't look at us like we mean nothing to them if they could just do what we see, we're seeing being done right up. Blatant in our face because they know that they can get away with it. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And look, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I am awakened underscore chosen one. And also don't forget to follow me on YouTube and I am awakened. Just want to leave you as I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family, peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. Ashe.